Hi, welcome to the second part of the Spur Gear housing in Siemens NX. Today I want to do at least the ground plate. So I could hide those solids. Let's switch over here and hide those solids. And of course that sketch as well. Now I need a sketch on the y, xy plane. So go for a sketch on that plane here. Yeah, that's the one. And confirm. This should be a rectangle. It should be centered, so let's go for this point here or just see if we can snap onto the selected and then go for this midpoint and put it onto that axis or plane and same on the other side. This one should be coincident right here like that. Now let's add dimensions. So from this distance should be 270. No, I don't want to scale. And this distance here should be One hundred and forty-nine, I suppose, or one hundred and forty-five. One hundred and forty-five. One four five. Okay. Now let's finish the sketch and make an extrude up to that plane. So go for an extrude with that sketch, and this should go up to a selected plane and that would be the plane with minus 12 that's this one here and it should be of course a new solid no boolean it should an, a new one okay i will need two similar sketches one here and one at the plane at minus 12 so maybe hide that extrude here. That would be another solid. Let's hide it. And I want to copy that sketch. So go for that sketch. Control C for copy and Control V for paste. And then I need to define a new datum reference. So let's go here for, where is it? Plane Y axis and point. So the new plane would be this one here. The y-axis would be here, this one, and the point would be that origin here, this one. And apply. And the same on the other one, same option, go again for plane y-axis point. So the plane would be the minus 12 plane, which should be here, this one here. Y axis is the same and the point is again the same. So that would be the existing point, origin of datum, and this one here. And OK. And now I can adjust those two sketches. This one can be hidden, the first one. Let's edit the upper one. This should be 110, 300. So that would be 110 here. And this should be 300. Finish that sketch. And 
And this one here, this is on the right plane, yes it is. And this one should be changed to 145, that's okay. And the other dimension is 200. So this should be 200. Finish that sketch as well. Now, this should be an extrude, symmetric, depth altogether 12 mm. So let's go for another extrude. Select it, that sketch here. It should be symmetric and it should be 12 mm in total. No, not minus 12, but just 12. Okay? Should be a new solid, that's okay. And okay. Now I want to do another solid in the other direction, six millimeter. So this should be six millimeter in that direction. So go for six millimeter and confirm. Now there should be a forty-five degree draft here. You could do it with a sketch of course on that plane and make an extrude. I want to do it with a draft just for fun. Okay so let's go for a draft. I want to go for a face that's okay. Specify vector. The vector would be this one. The stationary face would be this face here and I want to make a draft on this face here Sorry, didn't switch to the next, like that. This should be 45 degrees, and that should be 45 degrees. Yes, and confirm. And now I want to subtract that solid from the hidden one, and the hidden one would be this one here. So let's go for subtract from this one, that's the target, and the tool will be this one, and I don't want to keep the target, I can't, don't want to keep the tool, because I think I don't need them anymore, so let's remove those two, and confirm. Great. Let's hide those sketches, and I want to do the ribs here at the bottom next. For those ribs at the bottom I want to take a closer look at the 3D PDF because in the 2D PDF it's not really visible. So we have a fillet on this edge, a fillet on that edge and that might be yeah, 2 to 3 millimeter and those ribs here are 6 millimeter but they start not right here at that face or plane, but it's with a slightly, with a little offset, maybe one or two millimeters in that direction. So we need another plane in order to do the sketches or the sketch for those ribs. So let's switch back to our model. So in the 2D PDF, I can see that that rib is six millimeter but it's with one millimeter offset from this face here so i have to change that extrude which i subtracted that would be i think this one this should not be six millimeter but seven millimeter so let's edit this and go for seven millimeter okay yes and now Let's do the the edge blends, or maybe three, or let's go for, let's try four millimeter on this edge, that edge, and on the other side as well, this one and that one. Okay, and then I need a sketch, and in NX I can do it on this plane. So let's go for another sketch right there on this plane. Let's change 
the plane normal because it's easier to do like this. And I need a line. This should be symmetric to that point, so let's go for that line. Select that midpoint, go for this point, and make it coincident. And give it a dimension of... doesn't really matter, I want to go for 20 mm. More is not necessary, you could even go for less. Okay, finish that sketch. Now I want to do a rip, so go for more. Rip should be over here. The target would be this body here. The curve is this one. And you should go for a perpendicular to section plane. That's okay. And the rip has a is four millimeter thick. So let's go for symmetric, go for four millimeter. That looks okay. And I want to cap, and I want to go from selected. The selected face is that plane here, this one. And I want to have an offset of one millimeter to that plane, which moves this one millimeter down. That looks okay, yeah. Maybe this could even be five millimeter, but that's okay. Great. Let's hide that sketch here, this one. Now I need all in all seven of those. Yes, the distance between those is 16, so it should be from center to center 20. Let's go for a pattern. There might be some warning if I choose this one, so let's go for that feature here. Yes, cannot have its parameters varied, that's okay. And I don't want a circular one, I need a linear one. Yes, the direction would be, let's take a look, that's the x direction, so I could go for direction that would be XC it's okay I want it to be symmetric and I need all in all seven should be count and pitch yes so the pitch distance is 20 but not seven to both sides, three to both sides. No. Four. Yeah, it's four. Because you have to include the original one. This looks okay. Yeah. And confirm this. And okay. This looks really good. Yeah, nice. Maybe show the other bodies as well. And that's it for today. Hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Twitter or X and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.